Hi, this is Trains and Sirens 1, and this is an unboxing video of a Federal Sign Signal Model 2T 2 to 20 volt, 220 volt Model 2T. It is from the 1960s and also comes with its controller as well. So, on the middle of here is the housing, and the box right here is the 2T itself. And the box right there, I have no idea what's in the box, uh, 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 what the control actually looks like. So this is going to be pretty interesting. As my day, we got multiple theories, but it could be a modern radio receiver, AR1, old seal defense rec signal receiver, which is like a phone, relay, whatever. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, with, with along with... Okay, now I'm about to start unboxing the first box, which will be the 2T housing. And there's the 2T, and I'm going to show it to the, the YouTube user as well. Ooh, it's got some interesting things. It says, yeah, you can, let me look. It has the ID tag. Obviously, Pharaoh made an error, which I'm about to sh Did they make an error? I think they did. Well... Um, on, oh, okay, just a moment, I'll show the tag in just a moment. Right here, I don't know why they did that, but, right here, here we go. So, let's just show around it, I'll show what's around it. There's the original yellow color right here. It's all rusted, though. I don't think I'm going to restore the housing, since I think, you know, some, some, styrofoam but let's go underneath and restore because of it i never seen the uh, uh, model 2t or any model 2 that has its original unpainted or, or never repainted yeah. housing opening up the 2t shape like a like a thought would be it's not in good shape although the seller claimed it works so I'm gonna have to get a new bar that would I'll show let's take try to take it out without damaging the does it spin it, oh, it claimed it worked bar was in great shape uh, I have to well, I'm not Oh. Yeah, it's let's see. Um it didn't want to spin, but I'm gonna have to try to spin it as it said it worked. This thing is horror. I've never seen a tootie that in horrible shape before. All the motor looks in good shape, I guess. Maybe this time it was unt untested after all, because it won't spin at all. Unless it... Okay, I might have to get a hammer. And try to get the rotor spin. It won't spin at all. 
Let, let me look at the mirror itself to see how it looks. Wow, this thing is bent up badly. Get this is only plastic off of it. I might be able to get it running. I might have to place the brushes though on it. Can't get the brush cap off. I want to see how it's in good shape. Wires look a little shots, but I actually I don't know if this thing works. They still are claimed it worked, but it looks untested. Well, that's right. Uh, yeah, actually, because if I'm planning to use it for my Thunderbolt, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I will have to take this. I might have to use it. Hope I don't have to use this thing for parts. Hope I don't have to. I, I might. It might be a while till till I get this thing working. Cause. All right. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's just rotate without damaging them. <sighs> Not in good shape. Because the rotor won't spin, so looks dang. Oh, this thing's gonna be. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to draw the top part. I forgot what's called, but I am gonna have to draw all these screws off since I they're completely rusted. Completely rusted, as you see. You can't even put your flathead and get it turn it off. Obviously, I would deem this part a total loss. I might be able to save this part. Just this is a completely lost. It'll be okay. That's a lot of wires. Put this little snake in it. It's heavy. Wow, it looks old. Oh, we don't have to get tools. Now, we're gonna... It's open. I think it's ready to open the controller and see what's in there. on camera it seems to be like this wow yeah Hold on. here we go I want to see what's in there okay it might be upside down but I don't know I think it is upside down no I don't think it is come on oh yeah it's a box stop not surprised they put tape right here I don't know why well, I'm just gonna take it off. Stick to the chains. Take the tape off. I don't know why they put tape right here, but take this off. It should come off now. starter. Let's see what this is. Let's open that up. Alright. Here's the original motor starter. That's pretty cool. I'll test this later on. They're disconnect. We're wondering what this is. What is it? I don't want to damage it, but I don't know what this is. Is this a fuse? Oh, really? No, it's not. It's not a fuse. I try to Oh, this looks like your. Um, is it what I think it is? It's a turn? It doesn't turn. Oh, well, it might turn. I actually don't know what this last part is. Other than the, this is your disconnect, this is your motor start, but I can't identify what this part is. I'll zoom in. Zoom it. Sorry. Zoom in. Yeah, this part. I actually can't identify what it is. 
I am gonna test the motor star to see if it works. I just gotta figure this might be a while. This is gonna be an interesting project though. It's a full set. It's complete. Definitely all what is it? It's good. The motor star is not let's see. Take it off again. There it comes right off. Motor star is in good shape. Just get the camera focus. There's your fuses. Right here, here your fuses. I'll check them, see if they're good. And I'm about to sign off. Sign off with.